Jesus Christ. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. Come under the ark of safety. You see, they mocked Noah for 120 years as he built the ark. They laughed at him. They mocked the man building a boat in the middle of the desert. They didn't understand that wrath was coming. They didn't understand that judgment was on its way. And then one day it began to rain, and the rain didn't stop. This is the same thing that Jesus said. He said, in the day of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, then it will be just like the days of Noah, when you would have crazy people like me sending out a warning, saying, get ready, because the wrath is coming. Get ready, because judgment is coming. And the people laughed. And the people mocked, and then the rain came, and the door was sealed, and judgment fell, and only a few were saved. Jesus said that in the last days, only a few will be saved. Will that be you? Will you be one of the people who make it in, or will you be one of the people left out? You don't have to be left out, beloved. You can be saved. All you have to do is repent of your sins and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said that he will abundantly pardon you. Even if you think that your sin is too dark, that your sin is too thick, that your sin is too heavy. What is that to the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ? His blood can wash away all sin. Every stain that sin has left on your soul. The blood of Jesus Christ can wash it away. I don't care if you are ashamed. The Bible says that Jesus bore your shame for you on the cross. You don't have to be ashamed anymore. You don't have to feel guilt anymore. You don't have to live under condemnation anymore. You can be saved, beloved. You only need to turn from the direction that you're heading in. 180 degrees to the Lord Jesus Christ and you can be saved. Jesus said, go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. You must repent. You must believe and you can be saved. Hallelujah and God bless.